The colonial squirrel? Why, from early Americana times to present day, it has always been an abundant and delectable source of protein for a society with a ravenous hunger. Like the axiom states, give a man a squirrel and he eats a couple bites. Teach a man to squirrel hunt and he eats for a little longer. My dearest Martha, enclosed, please find the haunch meat of two sow fox squirrels to prepare however you see fit. I might detail for you the circumstances of their procurement. I arrived at the woods at sunrise. The clouds were low and dark. The wind gusty and fitful. Blankets of mist lay over the fields. With my flintlock smoothbore, I patrolled the stand of nut trees for hickory and walnut cuttings. And even before I reached the fence row, I spied movement. When it was at 20 yards, I dropped the hammer. With instant ignition and a puff of smoke, the squirrel dropped straight down. Till I see you again, I remain John William Hardy, Armstrong's Men's Department. My dearest John, I received your squirrel meats yesterday with much felicity. I cooled the game in a brine overnight, then elected to lard the meat with salt-cured bacon. I then stewed it with a cloved onion, two blades of nutmeg, and a bundle of sweet herbs. On a whim, I added sourgrass. Oh, John. <laughs> tender and flavorful the squirrel was, delectable with hot, crusty biscuits. Fondly, Martha Bellamy Killian. Harvesting the colonial squirrel was a blessing afforded our pioneer forefathers during times of deepest despair. Its meats for nourishment, its pelt for warmth, its bountiful reward, and uncommon comfort to a thankful folk. Dear Larry, while enjoying some walnuts at the base of the tree, I was confronted by an angry squirrel, laying claim to the entire bounty. Larry, I will say with certainty, if you see a squirrel's nuts, do not grab them. Willard Dudley Scott. <laughs> 